Kev, Andy, cook the me this, you <laughs> Welcome to Wake and Bake with Kevin Andy, the show that takes you into the kitchen and gives you a handy. I'm Kevin. And I'm Andy. And we're gonna show you how to make some food. What are we doing today? What are we cooking, Andy? Well, today we're gonna do migas. Migas, which is uh, Spanish for mix. It's a traditional Mexican breakfast. Do you remember the migas theme from Star Wars? The disco Star Wars theme? <laughs> no. That was Migo. Oh, really? It was kind of like that. You could eat Migas while listening to Migo, man. Take it back old school. Well, this is called Migas because it gives me gas. Oh, that's even better. Before I put anything in my body, A, I want to know its name. B, I want to know what's in it. So what are we going to eat here today? Three tablespoons of olive oil, quarter cup of onion chopped, quarter cup of red bell peppers, a half of a takeout burrito, three cups of thick corn tortilla chips, and then we, uh, we do some eggs, green salsa, some pico de gallo, salt and pepper, a half cup of Mexican cheese. So take your three, uh, three tablespoons of olive oil, put that in the, in the pan. So I think we're ready to get going with your other ingredients. We'll pour all those I in. I feel like fucking Snape, bitch. Like in Harry Potter, because they're always doing this shit. <laughs> Breakfasticus. Put it all in, dump it in, and you can even use your scraper or your hands to uh, get the rest of it well, out. I didn't wash my hands, so I might as well use the scraper. So we'll let that, we'll let that brown a little bit. Ooh, man, it smells like, it smells like the boardwalk in New Jersey. At what, what tide? Peppers, high tide. <laughs> boardwalk always smells like peppers, onions, and use condoms. Well, as this browns, I will get the uh, eggs. I'll start beating the eggs. When do we know if it's done? Um, well, they're starting to brown pretty well. We'll start heating up the... Uh, when you say brown, so is that just judgment call? Is yeah. there a like a chart that we should go by, a color chart? Or is it just, that's brown enough? Well, there will be is some Is this brown. cooking kind of like the Kevin Smith way? Like there's a right way to do it in the Kevin Smith way, which is like, that's good enough. So you uh, want to put a little salt in ahead of time. Why? Because the yolk sac needs to break down and the salt will make the yolk sac break down. This it sounds like your bedroom talk. You're like, here comes my yolk sac. She's like, ew, Andy, stop talking about it that way. Call it little Andy. All right, so while these are getting beaten, we can, uh, those look kind of brown enough. You see the, you see the uh, garlic is browning? Yeah. So let's dump in the salsa verde, which is sure Spanish for. This? For salsa green. Green salsa, green yeah. sauce. Green sauce? Oh, mm -hmm. salsa means sauce? Yeah. Yeah, we're learning shit. So I guess Aside the salsa cooking, dance is We're sauce learning dance. basic Spanish, which I should have learned in high school. Well, yeah, if you're gonna live in Los Angeles. I took four years of it, man, and all I can remember is the Donde es la zapateria. What am I doing with this, boy? You're gonna pour that in. You can scrape out the eggs go in now. And while that's in, we're going to- Stick the burrito in Take it. the burrito, and you're gonna kind of try to poop this out of its thing, kind of squeeze it in there. Do a little uh, baby bird action. Watch this. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> All right, so just the guts? Uh, just the guts. We're not gonna use the uh, tortilla, we're gonna use the chips. Okay, what do we do with this? Throw it in the bowl? Yeah. What do you do with your leavings, your dirty leavings? Look how beautifully you're doing, Kevin. I've made eggs before, man, I gotta tell you, so. Have you ever thrown all this other shit in it? Fuck no. So we're gonna throw our chips in there now, which is also traditional for Mexican breakfast. Okay. Eggs. Do you mind if I do the dumping? Uh, Ready? You're the master here. That's way too many chips. Okay. So we can add a little salt and pepper to taste. A pinch? You do your little pinching. I'm gonna put in too much, there you go. Pepper. <laughs> pepper for you? That's way too much. Yeah, that was way too much. Better um, stir it up. And then we're gonna cover it after you sprinkle the cheese on top. So kind of mush it all together and we'll sprinkle on the cheese, cover it and let it melt. Get out of here, really? Yeah, okay. that's looking good. Flatten it, give a little flattening so that the cheese gets uh, all over. You can sprinkle the cheese. Let's see. Take it off the heat and let the cheese melt. That's what, how it's done? Yeah. All right, so cover it up, put it over here, ow, and what? and then we wait for it to melt. All right, look at that. So you kind of chop it up, chop it in half and, you know. Which half do you want? Whichever half you don't want. So uh, as you get these on the plate, we have some things that we can garnish with. Okay. We have some sour cream, and this is cilantro. All right, here we go. Testing the food that we ourselves made. No longer subject to the tyranny of other fucking cooks and chefs. Uh -huh. We control the food now. Here we go.
pretty good. I'm mm -hmm. not even a salsa guy, but that's pretty good. Hey, who made this? Well done, sir. I'd fuck whoever made this. Um, I would not. Isn't that the aim of every chef? If music be the food of love and blow the cook or something like that? Isn't that how that saying goes? No, I think that's about music. Thanks for hanging out with us here in the Loot Crate Kitchen at LootCrate.com. And if you want to see us cook some other specific things, go to your social media, your Twitters, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, hashtag Loot Crate and say, Kev, Andy, cook the me this, you fox, and we will do it right here on camera. <laughs> Just like that. When you yeah. say do it, we will cook. That too. <laughs> For Wake and Bake with Kevin and Andy, I'm Kev. And I'm Andy. Bong appetit. <laughs> it's not even sugar in it, and it's good.